Hey guys, it's Alpha Productions here and today I'm doing a tutorial on how to make a theme inside of the Alienware Command Center. My PC is the Alienware Word R8 which I just did a review on the other day. What's cool about the Command Center is you could change the lighting for your PC and assign them to games. So if you assign a lighting effect to a game, whenever you play that game, it will activate. So let's get straight into it. The first thing we want to do is make sure our games are here. To add games, you can manually choose them. Or let it automatically detect them. You should have all your games here now. The next step is to select the game you want to change the lighting on. For me, I'll do Valorant. If you want to, you can change the thermals, audio, power, and audio recon on this selected game. But what we are doing in this video is lighting, so we are going to add a new FX theme. And here we are. Let's start by naming the theme. I will name it Valorant. Now make sure it's assigned to the game you want. It should be already assigned. If not though, click on it and select the game. Here's my computer, up here is the lighting. The alien head is number one, and for the white of the PC there are three. White middle, top, and bottom. Which when you look at the numbers, it controls them. Let's start with the head. As you can see, the colors here changes the head. You can enter RGB numbers here if you have a specific color in mind. If you do, you can simply look it up and enter the numbers in here. For example, if you want a specific type of red, you just look up, for example, crimson red, RGB numbers, and it should pop up. Just a note real quick, when you change the effect, it will reset the color back to black. So let's find the type of effect you want first. Here are the different types of effects. There is morph, pulse, color, breathing and spectrum let's start with morph what this effect does is change between two colors as an example i'll do blue for the first color and red for the second i will show you my computer here so you can see it change some extra options down here are brightness tempo and duration tempo is the speed of change between two colors and duration is how long the change between the colors take Brightness is how bright the colors are. Now let's talk about Pulse. Pulse blinks between colors as seen right here. For Pulse, you can change the brightness and tempo. Color keeps the selected color static. You can change the brightness only. Breathing breathes the color. You can change brightness and duration. And finally, spectrum rotates between all colors. You can change the duration only. In my case, I'm going to do the effect color and do the color white. White's RGB numbers is 255 red, 255 green, and 255 blue. You can then save this as one of your colors if you want by pressing on the plus. There is also presets for you. Now we did the alien head, we're going to do the sides of the PC. I'm going to show you something you could do on the sides. You can pick each one, white top, middle, and bottom, and do different colors for all of them. Let me show you. There is something cool you could do. You could do different effects for each one or whatever you want. In my case, I'm going to keep it simple and select all the sides, left and white, and make them all one color and one effect. I'm going to use the breathing effect here. If you like the red I'm using, use the RGB colors 255 red, 19 green, and 14 blue. So that's basically it. I'm going to change the duration to last longer and put it at 60 brightness. Once you're satisfied, press save theme. Now when you go to FX on the top, you'll see all of your themes. The one we just created is Valorant. If you want to go back and make changes, click the red icon. Now when I load up Valorant, since we assigned that theme to it, my computer should change colors. 
and there we go my default theme is spectrum by the way that's why it was spectrum before i loaded the game if you were wondering thank you guys for watching and i hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned how to use anywhere command center peace